Well, I'm back again, another video. I'm sorry I missed last week. I was trying to do one um, every week, but um, I went on my work Christmas due um, last Friday and I am seriously out of touch with being a 20 something year old. Like I cannot drink to save my life. And I had such a good time, but I couldn't actually talk or move on Saturday, let alone film a video. Um, and then it kind of progressed into Sunday as well. And I just thought, you know what? Nobody needs to see this. This isn't attractive. So I'm sorry, I didn't film one. But I am back today with like the, I think it's the 20 question mum tag. Um, I've seen a few people do this. So I have the questions on my phone. So if you see me fiddling with this, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Um, so I will get started. So the first question is, are you a stay at home mum or a working mum? It says mum, but I can't say mum. I'm from the UK, so I will say mum. Um, I'm a working mum, and I have been for quite a while now. Um, number two, would you have it any other way? Um, I don't know. If you'd have asked me this question a while back, I probably would have said yes, because I went back to work when William was um, eight weeks old, and that, I don't think at the time I gave myself enough credit for how hard that actually was and how well I did managing it. Like I'm not, I'm not even blowing my own trumpet, but I don't think, unless you've done it, I don't think you can even understand what it's like. It's not like, you know, it's like leaving your baby over, you know, or leaving your baby for a couple of hours for the first time, but every single day and those hours are long and they stretch out and they're painful and they really made me feel guilty and I felt guilty for a very long time and just because I felt like every single moment I had to spare I should spend with my son because I couldn't give him what other mums did I you know I joined birth groups when I found out I was pregnant of course I did who doesn't you want to share that with someone you want to talk about stretch marks and you know colostrum and you know the weight of your baby and your scans and it soon dawned on me that you know I was I finished work last um out of my birth group I was one of the last due and um I finished at 39 weeks and four days pregnant and then a few people already had their babies and then by the time I had William, They their babies were already at the same age that I knew that I was going to leave mine, so I would look at them and I would look at him and then I would just feel terror, absolute terror in my heart and it was so hard not to be jealous and I went back to work and, you know, I, I blog so I met lots of mums that way and then there'd be days sometimes where I would see people moan about, um, you know, like, oh, I wish my baby would just sleep and leave me alone, I'm tired and then I could only ever think like, oh, I just wish I could see mine. And, and it is hard and I've learned the, you know, now I've accepted it, um, I've learned that parenting hard whatever you do, but I just feel that that was, you know, it was a point where my heart broke and I don't think I will ever fully recover from that, but I do, you know, I'm over the guilt now, he's, he's 18 months old, I don't really breastfeed him anymore, um, you know, I hated expressing at work. That was probably one of the worst things I've ever done, but I'm glad I did it. And, um, you know, we're at, we're at that stage now where I, I've got my independence back and I, I enjoy what I do. I'm, you know, I've got skills. I work really hard on my CV. I didn't plan to be a mother this early. Um, I'm, I was 23 when I found out I was pregnant and 24 when I had him and I'll be 26 in January. So, you know, I'm sure your maths is fine, but that means I'm 25 now, and I, you know, I've, I've done well for myself, and I want to keep doing well, and I don't regret that, because this is my life, I'm, I can't change that, and I, I shouldn't want to, I should be very grateful for what I do have, so, um, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a thing, because I'm lucky. Do I co-sleep? 
no because I would just swash my child I know that everybody says that mothers like know that their babies are there when they're asleep and it's all subconscious but I would squash my child and I'm lucky in the sense that William's just never really been a fan of that like he's a cuddly boy but he doesn't you know he does it on his terms and he like you know like me likes to spread out in bed and I just couldn't do it I don't get enough room in my bed as it is so I'm not about to share it with a child who wants to starfish either. And that's just how it works for us. Um, one must have gear for baby, like get a bouncy chair. It's useful when they're little. You can stick them in it and you can feed them in it and you can, you know, let them watch a bit of the square nanny in it if you need to get some things done. Um I think everybody recommends one of them. Like, slings are great and stuff if your baby goes for it, but uh, William wasn't really a fan, to be honest. And, I mean, I have it for when I have a future baby, but, you know, get a bouncy rocker chair thing. Um, how many children do you have on, plan on having? Um, I've always said that I'd like two. I'd love a boy and a girl, but I don't really know. Like, I could have two and then want another. I might have another boy next and then think, oh, should I just try and have a girl? But right now, I've, I've no idea. <laughs> um, date night. How many nights or days per month? <laughs> None. Um, no. <laughs> um, your child's favourite show is Sophia the First. Um because it's awesome and mummy really likes Sophia the first as well and might know all of the words and sometimes listen to the soundtrack on Spotify but not when she's at work because her colleagues might see um name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up using nothing really I did my research man like I I wouldn't really suggest buying all the like gimmicks and the you know special magic things like I just tried to think what I'd really need we didn't have those money at the time because we were trying to do up our house for a baby so no I don't really regret buying anything go me um child's favorite food is like his mum anything carb related or chocolate related good lad he does eat his veggies though and he is a very good eater at half you know um how many cars does your family have we have one because and I don't really even use it to be honest I get the train to work because I work in Manchester and you know if you want to take a car there that's your choice but I wouldn't recommend it because it, it's just bedlam and trains are easier and quicker and I like talking to my train friend on the train as well. Okay, um, next question is weight gain before pregnancy, during and after and now. Right, okay. Um, I was probably about 16 to 18 when I fell pregnant. Size 16 to 18, UK size. I've no idea what that means anywhere else. Um, you know, just a bit curvy really and a bit chubby in places. Um... Yeah, I was doing some personal training uh, at the gym and I'd lost like a, a little bit, quite, well, quite a bit of weight actually and I was really fit and healthy um, and I think the combination of that and the fact that I got like a tummy bug um, meant that I fell pregnant accidentally um, because my pill obviously hadn't worked because I was being sick. Um, so a few... Weeks later, I'd gone on holiday and stuff, and I realised that my tummy just felt really bloated, and I didn't feel very well halfway through the holiday. So I stopped drinking, because I was drinking quite excessively at the time, and I just was like, oh no, I don't want anything, I'm just going to, you know, veg out on the um, sun lounger and get some rest. And I thought it was just another bug. And then another week went by, and then I started to get suspicious when I just felt really, really unwell. Um, and then when I found out I was pregnant, obviously... Um, you know, we we were having a baby, and then I got more and more sick, so I lost more weight then, um, and I actually lost quite a bit, I never weighed myself, but my clothes just became looser, and I didn't feel particularly pregnant at all, um, because I just felt smaller than ever, and then I, I think, to be honest, like, I was always wearing my own clothes throughout pregnancy, I didn't buy anything maternity other than a pair of, um, Topshop maternity leggings and that was really only when like I was 
you know, it was just all bump. And I know that sounds like I'm really like lucky, but it's not like I was small anyway. I didn't go from a 10 to a 12 and then have to lose a couple, you know, half a stone or something to get down. I am, um, I'm still, you know, I'm not small. And so, yeah, I, I had William, had a bit of a saggy tummy for a bit. And then um, I just went straight back into my normal clothes. And that's really lucky, I know. And then since then, I put on quite a little bit, well, quite a lot of weight, really, when I'd started weaning William onto solids because I was breastfeeding less, but then still had that massive appetite that you get. And I'd also been able to drink a bit then because I'd missed having like a glass of wine or something because you need that when you're a parent. So I um, put on some weight earlier on this year at the very beginning and I was unhappy. I wasn't very happy in my job and I made a few changes and then this year um, in August I decided to do the 30 day shred and I completed it 30 days straight um, and it was really really intense and hard but I've since lost it like a stone um, with that with a combination of you know other changes that I've made and now I'm like comfortably a 16 and I'm I'm quite happy I'm not perfect I'm not a 10 like you know I do worry that people might run away screaming if I showed them the stretch marks on my stomach, but I've, you know, it's something that you've got to live with when you're a mum, and, like, I don't, you know, it's not like I walk around saying that I've got a washboard tum, is it? So, mm. uh, that's my fat story. Um, next question, dream vacation with your kiddos. Um, probably Disney World, like, the kids like that, don't they? And then dream vacation without. Um, I really want to go to Italy or anywhere warm with sun, which would be warm, um, where I can sunbathe and I can have cocktails and I can go dancing at night. I wouldn't actually mind like a girly holiday or something. I haven't done that in a while. Be awesome. Um, how has life changed since your baby has been born? Dramatically. But that is part and parcel of having an amazing human in your life who needs you. Um, yeah, it changed a lot, but I was pretty, you know, mature and boring anyway. Um, and, you know, there are times where, like, I just want to go out and have fun with the rest of my friends. Like, after work, they all can go out and do whatever they want. They can have lions at the weekends, and I do struggle sometimes. I And I, I do get jealous, but you know, we've all got different things in our lives, and William is, is really worth it, really, really worth it, um, but I'm still the same person, like, I still always put the effort in, you know, doing a full face of makeup, and I always paint my nails, and I still like to cook, I still like to sing around the house, I still like to, you know, upcycle furniture, and make things, and I'm still the same person, I just have less time to do all of that, and, you know, I've got a really awesome little guy in my life too, so swings and roundabouts. Um, finish the sentence, it makes my heart melt to see William's face when I put him to bed. <laughs> um, not because I'm like, yes, you're going to bed, <laughs> you're a nightmare this evening. I mean, that happens and obviously every parent loves bedtime, but he has these three stuffed toys called um teddy um ragged and peewee teddy is obviously a teddy and i'm not very imaginative with names it would seem um ragged is a ragged a, a, a rabbit because william can't say rabbit so he's called ragged or ragat um I can't believe I just did an impression of my son. Um, and then Pee Wee is a little tiny penguin because that's how he says penguin. Um, and every night I will put him in his cot and I will grab Teddy first and Teddy will walk along and he will tickle William on his tummy and then he will have Teddy on one arm and then I will get Ragged and then Ragged will come along and he will tickle him as well. And then Pee Wee will come last and he will kiss him on the nose and then he will squish all three of them in his arms and then he will go, bye, no night, mama, see you, mama. And then if I'm really lucky, he will go, oh, mama. And then I will die <laughs> from cuteness. Um, but yeah, he pretty much makes my heart melt anyway. What, where do you shop for your kids? Um, 
I'm assuming that means clothes, so um, quite like Primark because they fit him really well and they have some quite cute things and it's really near my work. Um, I like anything that I can get on my weekly shop, so whether or not it's from like Florence and Fred at Tesco or the Sainsbury's brand or um, anything like that. And I absolutely love Next and Boots Mini Club. Like I like designer stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's... Um, it's just not worth it, is it, when they're so messy? At least in my opinion. Soz, Billy. You're not going to have any cool swish clothes. Not at least while you're that mucky anyway. Um, Favourite makeup and skincare products? Oh my god, best question ever. Um, everything. Take me to Boots, take me to Selfridges, take me to Harvey Nicks and just give me some money please and I will just buy it all because makeup is my absolute favourite. At the moment like a few things I'm loving is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Um, I really love that. Um, MAC Soft and Gentle um, Mineralized Skin Finish. Oh that's beautiful. I always wear that as like a highlight here. Um, I love the Naked palettes from Urban Decay. I'm trying to get my hands on Naked 3 for Christmas but it might have to be a birthday wish list one. And yeah I just I love it. And then as for skincare, um, I'm absolutely obsessed with my old faithful Nivea like moisturizers that I've tried so many and I love them. I love um, Soap and Glory things, um, I just bought their, like, you know, their Christmassy sort of, like, big gift bag that's, like, half price, basically, and you just get everything for so much less, um, I just love anything, um, question 18, Huggies, diaper, jeans, yay or nay, what are these, like, why? Uh, 19. Have I always wanted children? Yes, I have. I just didn't plan on having them now. Um, yeah, I always wanted to be a mum. I'm, I'm quite maternal. I like to look after people and yeah, I mean, of course I did. <laughs> um, best part about being a mum is knowing... Sorry, this is the last question. <laughs> last question is, best part of being a mum is just knowing what it really feels like to love someone that much and seeing their faces when you get home from work and knowing that they love you too I think that's pretty amazing and I don't think you can even bottle that feeling I don't think I actually really knew what love was until I met William like I obviously you love different kind of people in different ways but he is just my world um, and that's pretty amazing so yeah I will um, love you and leave you on that, on that deep note um, but yeah I will um, maybe tag a few people in the info bar down below when I've had a think um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this um, video but yeah thank you for watching <laughs> bye